Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a review of the We Are Memory Keepers Spin It. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited about this. I know that it's been a little while and everybody else has talked about it and, and came and gone. But I wanted to go ahead and give you my review on it. Several years ago I was making these cups, but I was doing it with the DIY Rotisserie Maker. This cup right here I had made several years ago with the DIY Rotisserie Maker. I made tons of cups with it, but it's kind of a fuss to make your own. Number one, it's kind of pricey. Number two, there's a lot of work involved. You've got to cut that metal down, all these pieces that you have to have for it, be able to just pull that off until now. The fact that I can go down to the store and use a coupon and get this from Michaels, I'm excited about it and to be able to plug it in and be ready to go. Let's get started. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what comes inside. I purchased mine for around $25. They're $50 at Michaels. I used a 50% off coupon and they do sometimes have a 60% off. So if you can get it for that, amazing. So it looks like it's got some plastic on it. I'm going to pull that out. It did come with some instructions here, just like so, to kind of talk about it a little bit. It looks like in a couple different languages. All right, and I'm noticing right away it says, before use, please confirm a rotating arm is well attached on unit. Tighten by rotating end knob clockwise and then plug the USB into a power source. So I'm going to set this aside. Let's go ahead and test that out. Pull it out of the plastic here. So with this machine, right away that you can see, just like this, it does not come with a piece that plugs into the wall. It's just a USB. So you can plug this into a power bank or you could plug it into, say, your phone, take off the little backing and plug it in, in there. And that's what I'm going to do today. All right, so what it's saying to do is to make sure that this is tight. So let's see, to make it bigger, so I just took mine right off. You can see the more you tighten this, the more these little guys just kind of pop up. So you can see how it's changed its shape. So as you twist it like that, the shape's going to change. So let's go ahead and test that out with different size cups. So I'm going to go ahead and get this back on here by rotating it to the right. Test it with some different sizes. So this right here is the Yeti that is made to hold your Coke can. So it looks like we may need to make it smaller. So to make it smaller, I need to turn it back this way. I'm going to go ahead and test it. Keep going. Okay. Test it again. All right. So once I get it where I want it, so it looks about like this so far, you're going to see it's going to give a little bit of a push to get it on there. You don't want it to be too loose. And so it's holding on there quite well. So let's go ahead and plug it in and try out this first cup and see how it rotates. So now that I've got it plugged in, it looks like here on the back here we have a dial to turn it on from low to high so we can turn that so you can see that start to turn I'm gonna go ahead and set it back down all right so that's the highest speed that it has all right so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off turn it back on all right so it definitely does not look like it's going to move it all or budge so you can see it really has a grip all right so there we go so we know this size is going to fit this is the smaller yeti so like this i think they're 20 ounce right so you can see like this i can get it all the way this leaving it that size it's on there really good and i can get it all the way up this far so hopefully you guys can see there all right so i'm able to get it up that far turn it on Right, looking good. I feel a little bit crooked. I'll kind of adjust that a little bit. All right. Now that's pushing that all the way up there. Let's go ahead and take this off and let's make it a little bit bigger. So the way to turn this is you want to hold this side, kind of like just holding it towards the right, not pushing hard, but holding it to the right and then turning this to the left or turning it to the right. All right. So let's try it again. So you can keep messing with it until you kind of have it about. So I want mine a little bit backwards like that. So I'm going to keep going. All 
right. A little bit more. This is the cup that we're going to do today. All right, a little bit bigger. All right, so I think that's going to be pretty good. Let's get it going. Definitely has a whining sound. I don't know if you can hear it or not. So let's go ahead and try the biggest cup. All right. So this is the biggest Yeti. Now you don't have to obviously use Yeti, but it's what I have here on hand. So I thought we would go ahead and try those. So it's all the way from the biggest um, to the smallest. So obviously that's going to be, you know, this is too small. So I'm going to make it really big for us. Stop. I'm going to test it. Still need to go. All right. So I've pushed that down in there. That looks pretty good to me. Go ahead and get it going. All right. So it looks like it's going to handle the weight of the big cup really good. So that's nice. And you can see how far up I got that. I could keep going as well and have it further down if I wanted to. So that looks good. It definitely has a whining to it. So after I get done with this, I'll have to go back and look and see if anybody else is complaining about that. That would be my only complaint. That would really get on my nerves. So I'm going to turn this off for a second. Let's double check and make sure. Maybe it's this guy here. I don't think it has anything to do with this. I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to take this off, turn it on again, and just see if it has anything to do with it. Okay, no. So it's going to be this mechanism here. So I'm not too sure. Like I said, I don't know if it's just my machine or if they all do that. But that's something that would definitely drive me a little bit crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some other cups that people are using right now, like the Starbucks cups, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that on there. So it looks like it's about the same size as the big cup. To get it right up there at the top, you can see where that's going to land us. If I wanted it to go in further, I could go ahead and bring that down. Let's turn that on. All right, so that looks good. So you can do those. We're going to go ahead and try the Starbucks latte ones. Go ahead and pop that on there. All right, looks good. So those are going to fit quite well as well. I'll go ahead and show you adding this size Yeti cup on here as well. Since I already have it out, so it looks like that's going to be good. All right, looks good. One more. What I'm going to try is a skinny tumbler. All right, so I've got it down to the smallest size it will go. Let's see if this will go on here. All right, and it looks like it will. So it will hold these skinny tumblers as well. If you're wondering where to get these, I'll have them linked down below. You can get them on Amazon. Okay. All right, so now that I've got that off there, got several different cups that we tried. Basically, this first video I wanted to do with this, I wanted to do a review of it. Um, I wanted to you know see what my first impressions were like I said the only complaint that I have so far is the sound it's really whiny and and uh, kind of loud on that not super loud obviously but so if it was in my workspace and I was in the living room it wouldn't probably bother me but in the same room it would drive me crazy um, so like I said so the sound is a no everything else I'm pumped that I could literally go to the store grab something to use um, the fact that I got it around 25 bucks was awesome. Um, the fact that I could go all the way from the skinniest of cups all the way up to the biggest of cups. It held the weight very well. Um, I like the fact that it has the speed from um, low to high. Love the fact that I can adjust that all on one. I'm not having to use pool noodles. I'm not having to use um, little the foam pieces in the florals department. I'm not having to make it, all these things. So those things I'm pumped about. 
I'm going to go ahead and show a few things that I purchased. They have um, slides, all those kind of things. But the things that I picked up, picked up the glitter cleanup kit that looks like this. I think it was around $15, I think. Um, let's open it up and see what that looks like. It's going to come with a little glitter tray like this. It has a cap on the end so that way no glitter falls out. Then you can take the cap off to dump it back into the container. That's very nice. Um, it does come with a little brush to dust it like that. And then it came with a glitter roller, which is covered with plastic right now. It looks like it's a sticky and we can rinse it off in the sink. And then it looks like you'll fold it like this. Which is really cool. I love in the design because it's like this. It folds like this and folds like that for storage. So that's very nice. I really, really like that. It's going to help contain that so it don't get nasty when you're not using it. And once again, just like that. Is there really a lint roller like this out there? Because if there is, I want it. I'm going to have to look into that. If anybody knows, leave a comment down below of where I could get one because I definitely want one. <laughs> so anyways, so here it is. That's really cool. So it comes with these little pieces. Like I said, I think this was around $15. Once again, use a coupon. And then the other things that I picked up from We Are Memory Keepers to use with this or some glitters. Let me go ahead and show you the ones that I got. When I seen this up at Creativation, because I went there and checked this out obviously before it was released, these bags of glitter are what really sold me. The, the, like, not just sold me for this, but these bags, when it came to these bags of glitter, I was obsessed. I have never seen something like this in my life. I don't know if there's bags like this already out there on the market, but I've never seen something like this. I absolutely love them. I love the fact that if I want a little bit, I could put them in a small container, but I just love the chunkiness of these bags. Look how big they are. They are 10 ounces. I believe they're $9.99 each, but I've used it when I had like a 20% off my total. Uh, to get these that's how I've kind of purchased these a little bit at a time, but here's the rose gold once again They're 10 ounces rose gold polyester glitter. So rose gold And that is the fine glitter. This one is what they're calling light pink. It looks like a really light um, I want to say coral, but very very light pink. I love it super pretty with some golds in it The last fine one that I got here is this holographic. It's hard to tell but it's really really pretty Try to see if that light won't hit it. But anyways, this is a holographic silver. It's really pretty. These ones chunky, so they're just a little bit chunky. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell. But you can see the tiny little pieces here, tiny little circles. So they're calling this one chunky. Looks just like this. So this is a gold. I got a red. This is like a red ruby slipper red. Very, very pretty. This one here is a holographic black. It is beautiful. I cannot wait to use this one. I really, really love this one. Then we have this aqua right here. So this one's really, really pretty as well. This would be awesome for the mermaids. I think it's a little bit lighter than what's showing up here on screen, but love that one. All right, and I only got one super chunky. So this is what they're considering their super chunky. So these are really big pieces. I love this one. This one is, the color of this is teal. So it looks just like so. Let me go ahead and show you the other things that I purchased to use with this really quickly. So I purchased this silicone mat from Amazon. So that way it can go underneath just like so. And it was just a couple dollars. So it was really, really affordable. It's going to protect our surface from any epoxy because I wanted to make sure I got something down first. And then the other things that I purchased off of Amazon was Let's Resin. So this little kit right here, it's called Let's Resin. And it comes with all of this stuff right here. It was very affordable as well. I think maybe $9, less than $9. So it comes with three of these silicone cups right here. So whenever you mix this, instead of constantly using the little small cups, you can set this aside. When it's dry, you can inside it out like so and pop out the epoxy. So it comes with three cups like that. They have the measuring on the inside. And then, now I don't know if I'll be using the big one. We'll see here in just a second. Um... It also comes with these smaller cups here. So it comes with one, two, three, four, five. It comes with five of these smaller ones, just like so. And once again, once it dries, you'll be able to pop the epoxy out just like that. So these will actually be really, really perfect to utilize as well. So that way um, you're not having to use such a big cup, if you will. So it comes with those. Um, it comes with these 
Why can I not think of what they're called right now? But these little dauber things that comes with one, two, three, four, five of them. It comes with, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of the finger gloves. So that way you could smooth out just like so. Um, and then it comes with, I'm not going to count them, but it comes with several. It comes with some popsicle sticks and several different stir sticks. Like I said, I think this was less than maybe $10 get 30 percent off their new products send them a message right here if you share your craft image with them maybe they're going to share it i'm not too sure but there's that information just in case you want to try to get 30 percent off anyways i love the packaging on this and with amazon prime you know you get it in two days so i always love ordering from there so i did order these all the things that i purchased for this only complaint i'm having at this moment is the whining sound like so other than that, I think everything's good. That is my first impressions, my first thoughts. I love the machine so far. I love the fact that you can go from the littlest of the cup to the biggest of cup. I love the fact that you can go from low to high. Um, I love their super big bags of glitter. Really obsessed with that. I'm loving the glitter roller. We're going to have to test that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.